welcome back to Blue Piano Soap Cell in here. And today we are going to make some more of those um, guest soaps. I know you guys think I seriously am like, what's the word for it? Obsessed. Obsessed with those, um, with those molds, those guest soap molds, but I love them. Um, here's some earlier that I made. You've seen these before. I made more because they were such a good seller. They're just so pretty. And here's like cake slices that I made that are all wrapped up. These are some fall cake slices that I made wrapped up. Here's another one. Um, hope you can see that, not too much shadow. So I just have become really obsessed with these guest molds. And um, I decided I'm going to make more and more of those because I can sell them for a little bit less than um, like a soap loaf. And because they're a little bit smaller and um, I feel like my my table is like lopsided. It kind of is, isn't it? Does it? Oh, it needs to come this way more. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, so I like making them because, you know, not everybody is going to come and buy like five or six loaves of soap at, you know, five, six or seven dollars a piece. But I find that um, they will definitely purchase like smaller guest soaps for, you know, three fifty, four dollars a piece, and so I've really had a lot of success with those guest soaps. And plus, it's just something different, you know, to do. Um, I make a lot and a lot of of soap loaves. Okay, I'm still moving the table because it's driving me crazy. I don't like things to be like off-centered. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop that. Okay, so I have my oils ready here. Um, coconut oil, sustainable palm oil, olive oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, um, a little bit of shea butter, a little bit of cocoa butter. Um, I have my lye water ready. I do need to add some sodium lactate to that lye water. Um, the temperature is about 75 degrees. Last I checked it, it was about um, 80, but I, I think it's come down. Um, I'll check it with the temperature gun in just a minute. I usually, for this amount of recipe, I will usually add about two tablespoons to my lye water. I'm gonna mix that up. Let's put my gloved hand on top of it. Okay, let's move that aside. And I also like to give my lye, my, um, I'm sorry, my base oils a quick whisk too. Make sure those are well and incorporated. Okay, so those are ready to go. I have three containers here. You can see them, and once I combine everything, you'll be able to see it more. But I have three containers here, and what we're going to put in these three containers, um, we're going to do three different colors and three different scents. So we are really being um, brave today. The first one we're going to do is Brilliant Blue from Nurture Soap Supply. And we are going to mix that with Brambleberry's Island Escape. And um, this is supposed to discolor tan. So what I'm assuming is with this blue, it's gonna come out to be a light blue. I've used this combination before and that's what's ended up happening with it. 
here our second color is going to be Brambleberry's Copper Sparkle Mica. If you haven't ordered this or used this, you are missing out because this is a beautiful color. Um, but I have only used it in small batches and so we're going to see how it turns out with a little bit of a larger bash, batch. Um, we are going to scent that with Neroli and Shea Blossom from Brambleberry and this one has no discoloration. And finally, we are going to make some Queen's Purple Mica, purple soap, with, and we're going to mix that with a little bit of lavender, uh, vanilla lavender, and we're going to put some la dried lavender buds on top, and we are going to expect some discoloration in this, in this soap. Okay, so we have our colors, we have our scents, we are ready to go. We want to strain our lye water. We always want to do that because we want to catch any sediment that is in here. Also, before we start, remember safety. You should always have your glo uh, gloves on, you should have goggles on, and really you should be completely covered. Um, try to wear something with long sleeves. I don't because I'm always hot, but you should. And that was a that was a beautiful lye mixture because there was very little sediment in that one. Let me just put that aside. Now we want this to be very pourable, so we are only going to go to like emulsification. We don't want this to to get any. see that splattered out and that got me a little bit on the arm and that's why we say it's really important to think about safety and that is good enough that is not yet to trace it's at emulsification which is where we want it. We have three containers here and we are just going to kind of guess at filling up each one. Yeah, that's about right. We, um, we're not going to do any piping on these. So this is gonna be really easy peasy soap. Okay, let me scrape this out because there's a lot. You wouldn't believe how much is left in your bowl. So scrapey, scrapey. Okay, pretty much got everything out of there. Got that right there. Let's get some spatulas in here. And what we want to do is we want to do one color and one fragrance at a time. So I am going to leave two of these to the side. I'm not going to do anything with them. These are some molds we're going to use today. Um, these are oval. I like those other guest soaps so much that I went and I got oval. So I want to use oval. I want to use a square and I want to do some round. Ouch! Um, and you always want to put these on a pan so that they're easier to um, to move around. Just have these old baking pans um, that are rusty, but it's not like we're putting food on them, so it's okay because we're just using them to hold. Our mold because you don't want to be trying to move this when it's filled. You want to be able to pick it up with something. So we've got our molds ready. Let's mix the first color and we're going to do the blue. Let me get my little spoon. There we go. 
I am going to put one teaspoon in and a half and I'm going to mix it and I'm going to see how it's coming out. The blue tends to need a lot to get the color that I want. If it comes out to be kind of a teal or a turquoise, I'm okay with that. Um, but this particular one, because I've already made teal, I'd like it to be a little darker. Oh, and of course I'm making a mess. Of course. So I'm just doing it with a spoon right now because I don't want this to um, accelerate. I don't want this to become thick. I will go ahead and give it a whisk with the stick blender, but I'm going to first try to kind of blend it myself. And I'm liking that color. I'm liking that color a lot. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to put the um, fragrance oil in and I'm going to put 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil in because again this is not a full batch obviously that's in this container. If I was doing a whole batch I would do more like 4 or 4.5 ounces but we only have a third of the batter in here. Wow does that smell good! Oh that smells so good. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful time getting ready for Halloween. All the good scary movies are out. I went to see it and it was very good. It was long. It was very long. I think they could have maybe cut that movie a little bit by a half hour or so, but I did enjoy it. Bring some rubbing alcohol. Probably have to re fill my um, alcohol bottle here. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's pour. And I like to have a paper towel under here to wipe it. Pour high. It's starting to thicken up, but it's going to be okay. Definitely starting to thicken up. Let's do some round. Let me stir. Wow, that is saying that my battery is low, and I don't understand that because I just um, I just charged that battery. So I hope, whoops, I hope it doesn't cut out on me. I'll have to change the battery and bring you back. Yeah, this one here I poured a little too much. Definitely. In fact, you know what? Let me just. That's another reason why it's nice to have a tray underneath because if you need to do that, what I just did, you can. Alright, so we've done some squares. And we've done the ovals. And let's do some round. I hope that battery doesn't, doesn't cut out on me. Here's some round. Looks like it's going to make about two. Two round. Okay, we're back. Let me fix this right here. There we go. 
Okay, uh, sorry about that. I had to change the battery. I don't know why that did that to me because I was sure I had used a charged battery. But anyway, um, so we have we have our blue in our containers and now we're gonna move on to our next color. So let me go ahead and pull this here. Okay, and this is getting a little, a little thick obviously because it's been sitting here but that's why you don't want to put the color or the fragrance oil in it when you put the other one in because this now would have been really thick this is still going to be pourable because I waited oh my gosh gotta get my gloves back on I had to take them off because I had to change that battery so let me put my gloves back on. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to work now on the second color, and the second color we're going to do is we are going to do this Queen's Purple Mica. And I like these spoons. I um, think I got them, I want to say from Nurture Soap Supply, but I like them that there's two sided because this side was obviously the blue. I can use the other side for the purple. So I'm putting in one tablespoon, two tablespoons of purple, and I am probably going to need more because purple, as everyone that soaps knows, can be hard to achieve. This is one of my favorite purples. It's Brambleberries. Queen Purple Mica and I'm just going to stir it up again not going to stir it with the stick blender because I don't want it to accelerate I don't want it to get thicker I'm going to add in another teaspoon purple you have to use a lot to get the purple that you want and this should do it it's definitely a lavender purple, which is what I was going for. And I think I can go ahead and I can stick blend that, but I am going to put the fragrance in at the same time on this one. So we're going to go with one ounce, two ounces. All right. It smells so good. Ooh, does it smell good? And let's now mix this up. Beautiful purple. Let's go ahead and let's pour alcohol. Really nice pour. Two round. And the rest we want to do. I don't want this mic on here because it's going to get all over. We're going to do on our oval. I swear, I think I always have enough room. And I don't. <laughs> it's like. You just never can have enough room, it seems. Just tap lightly. Push in here. Tap lightly. Let me get the squares. Here we go. That smelled really good. Now, our last color is going to be, ooh, and this is definitely thickening up, because again, it's the last one. 
But again, this is why you didn't want to put fragrance oil or color in, in it, because by now this, this would have been hard as a rock. Okay, this is going to be our last color and our last scent. And it's going to be, this is such a pretty color. This is such a pretty color. Copper Sparkle Mica from Brambleberry. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So good all the dogs. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I hope you can see that. I mean, it is like a copper oh, like no other. I love it. Stir it. Stir it in there until it all starts to turn. You just have to be patient. Get it all around the sides with your spatula. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a sandstone that sparkles. It's just gorgeous. Definitely don't need any more. It's pretty, just the way I have it. In this one, we're going to do Neroli. Neroli and Shea Blossom. One and two. In there. Mmm. Oh, that scent. Love that scent. Love that scent. it's not going to be pourable. All right, let's pour. I'm going to take my gloves off and what I want to do now is with a chopstick I just kind of want to just kind of make the, the tops a little prettier just by going around it just kind of evens them out I don't know what the heck that was because it sounded like a bomb went off in my house oh, the dogs must be up to something okay so see how just with a simple chopstick you can make these look even prettier let me put it closer see that swirl we're just going to do that on all of them and you you don't go in deep you just barely hit the surface the top okay because if you try to go in too deep it, it just doesn't work out as good it gets kind of chunky ugly is what i call it this one here is a little bit um that one's going to be a little thin but that's okay and obviously you have to do this while they're still, um, I don't know what the word is for it. Not, they can't be super hard or the swirl is not going to work. Let me do these. Let's do these. I want to make sure that you can see it. Yeah. Okay. So I ended up with that purple. Just, just the very, very top. Don't go in deep because it really will come out icky. Now you can kind of, you can kind of relax because you've, <laughs> you've done what you've needed to do with the soaps, and it's like, phew, you're done. You're not racing as much anymore to to make it in time for pouring. Let me show you. I got these dried flowers. It's called a Bulk Botanical Flower Kit. Got it off of Amazon. Um, it was very inexpensive. And 
we are going to add some of this to our soaps. Okay, so this particular bag here has some dried lavender and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that. Not a lot, just a little bit because dried lavender does turn brown. Okay, so just a little bit on top. Again, not a ton. And I kind of just put it in the middle. Let's see my big arm here. Get a little closer. And let me put it on the oval, which I know is a little off camera, but bear with me. Ah! Oh my gosh. My, my, oh my gosh. My husband is outside and just poked his head in the window and literally just about scared. Scared the heck out of me. Terrible man. <laughs> All of a sudden I saw a head staring in the window. Ah, how could he do that to me? <laughs> I just about jumped 20 inches. I'm not kidding you. Okay. For the, um, you want to just gently press. You, you, you don't want to ruin your design. Just gently press with like the back of a spoon. Just... Tap, 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 and if it gets, if it pulls up some thickness, clean the spoon. Okay, you just want to get them to adhere to your soap. I'm doing the oval here off camera because my, my other right. Some people are going to say they liked it better without the dried flowers. That was really nice, honey. Thank you. Scared the heck out of me. Not funny. I jumped about two feet and everybody heard it on tape. Okay, so I just put two, um, two little yellow ones in the um, teal color. Let me switch here, because the last thing we want to do is, of course, we want to add some glitter. Hmm. Isn't that weird? That's going to bug me now. What did I do? do with those with those dried roses they were so pretty hmm. well, I'll definitely have to order more I can tell you that much um. okay so what you missed me just finishing doing is I went ahead and I put glitter I finished up putting the rose petals on the purple because I didn't like the way the lavender alone looked and I went ahead and I um, put glitter and I'm not kidding you they look gorgeous I'm gonna bring you back tomorrow when I take them out of the mold and they're just so pretty and like I said I can sell them for a little less and in one batch oh here's the um, here's the the orange see them in one batch um, I made four five five sets of six I was short one so that's six twelve twenty four um, twenty five to six twenty eight I'm horrible at math twenty eight um, of these guest soaps in one re in one batch and I'm telling you they are gorgeous and I'm going to bring you back tomorrow when I unmold them. And then I am also going to um, 
show you how I wrap them. Okay? So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, welcome back to Blue Piano Soap. Ellen here, and as promised, I am showing you um, the unmolding of these guest soaps that we made. Um, I think they turned out great. I love the color the second day even better than when we poured them. So I think that's really exciting. So let's go ahead and unmold them. I have a um, baking sheet right here with just some white uh, freezer paper and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the ones that we unmold on that platter so that you can see them and then um, I'm going to bring you back when I am ready to wrap these so that you can also see how I'm going to wrap them. So as, as with really any soaps we want to go ahead and we want to help the molds come uh, I'm sorry we want to help the soap come out of the molds as easily as we can and that means just go ahead and start separating um, the, the molds just kind of you know pull on the sides and this is how easy they come out oh, they're so pretty oh my gosh I love them they are so pretty these are gonna just be gorgeous gorgeous guest soaps and Oh, my back kind of snapped there. <laughs> uh, you heard me catch my breath there. Um, okay, these this is the Crafter's Choice mold. It's a little thicker, a little harder than those pink ones, but no problem. They came right out. Um, again, might be maybe, you know, I could have used, I think, a little bit more rubbing alcohol in each of the centers. I think the rubbing alcohol probably dried out pretty quickly. Um, I probably would use more rubbing alcohol next time because I can tell like in this mold here, let me put this one down, um, and this mold makes beautiful guest soaps, but I can see that a little bit of it um, stuck around the mold. So um, maybe a little bit more um, rubbing alcohol before pouring it in and like I said they're a little soft but they will harden up look how pretty that is it's so pretty but it's not going to be one of the the really pretty ones so I am not going to take the rest of those out in this particular mold because it's a thicker silicone mold and obviously it's telling me it needs more time you get the idea from the ones that we did take out. Look at how pretty they are. Look at how many it made. Um, this is a real money maker here. Um, these are all gonna sell. And here's the others. And then we've left these in the mold. We're gonna let those get a little harder. So I'm gonna bring you back when they have hardened up. And um, I'm gonna show you how we're going to wrap them. All right, so stay tuned. So um, we are back. It has been definitely more than just 24 hours. Um, it's been a few weeks um, since I went ahead and I made these really, really pretty guest soaps for um, fall. They're kind of winter colors. Um, I wanted to wait for them to cure a little bit and um, I wanted to go ahead and show you how I wrap these soaps. Um, these are so pretty and so different that of course I want the wrapping to be different as well and what I do is I um, use just clear cellophane bags I'll leave a link below as to the two sizes um, if I remember correctly I think this particular size is 8 by 8 uh, could be wrong uh, <laughs> I'll let you know um, and then I have the smaller size, which I thought was six by six. So if if the smaller size is six by six, then this bigger size must must be bigger. Um, well, no, maybe not. No, maybe it is. Maybe it is eight by eight. 
anyway, um, I want to go ahead and I want to um, show you how I'm going to wrap these. I'm just going to pick one out. I'm going to pick this round turquoise one and it's so pretty mm, it smells so good and there's a really nice um, glittery top on it it's just beautiful and there's two dried yellow roses and so what I what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to use the 8x8 bag I'm pretty certain that's what this is and I am going to put it at the very corner so the bag is now like this almost like a diamond it's a very very one one corner at the very edge and i'm just going to gather up the rest of the plastic just kind of make sure you have to leave a little room because as i said these have those dried flowers on the top okay and then i'm going to put a ribbon around it um, and I love this ribbon. I get it at Michael's. Um, sometimes I get it at Walmart, but I think these are from Michael's. And they're usually really inexpensive. Um, and I just, I love the sort of flexibility of this ribbon. And I also like that it's the same on both sides. Sometimes you get ribbon, maybe it has polka dots on it, and it's only printed on one side. And that's kind of a hassle if you're making bows to kind of make sure that then the side that is facing out has the design. I like this because really flexible, easy to use, and it's the same on both sides. I'm going to cut a piece. doesn't have to be a big piece. And I'm going to gather that paper and I am going to go ahead and I am just going to make a knot. Okay, really tight and I'm going to tie it one more time. Okay, and the reason why I do that is because I like to then go ahead and pull tight or pull taut, I heard it said, all that wrapping. Let me do it this way so you can see it. So I'm just kind of gathering all that wrapping, gathering it up, kind of pushing it forward, okay? And then I'm gonna cut so that it kind of comes out to be kind of a, a little tail for the soap. Okay, so now you kind of have a tail on top and I'm gonna cut this piece of the bag here so that it's loose. There we go. Okay. And now again, I'm going to push or pull, whatever you want to call it, the sort of plastic high taut and kind of make it look wide. Okay. And that's what those are going to look like. But what's missing from here, of course, is my tag. And so I want to put that on there as well. And here's my tag. It's three hole, uh, three hole punch, two hole punch. Has a little design on the back, and it's just really easy to now go in and just tie the the tag on. And I don't have to make a bow, although sometimes I do. You can if you want. Um, it's going to look pretty even without the bow. Okay. So there it is, and I'm going to cut those shorter because I don't like it when they're long, kind of at angles. And there we go. Get that out of your way. And there's one, and again, kind of pull it, pull it, because you don't want, you don't want it to just kind of not be tight enough. So there's one, okay? really simple easy to do you can go back and kind of cut the design you want on the top um, and then what i do with this little little corner piece that's here i just take my handy dandy tape which is absolutely and 100 percent completely clear and i just fold it down i want to make sure you can see it just kind of fold it down Nobody can see that you taped it, okay? 
and there's one. And you can use prettier ribbon, bolder ribbon. Maybe when I make the next one, I might. I might use a, a bolder, larger ribbon, but really easy to package, done, simple. Um, so this is one way. Another way I could do this is I could have, instead of a tag here, my tag, I could have put just um, sticked, um, stuck the label to the back. I could have done that if I didn't want to have the tag, but I think the tag is, is really pretty. Um, another way we can do these, I'm going to show you, is we can take the smaller bag. This is now the six by six. Okay, and let me do, let me do an oval one. Actually, let me do a different color. Though. So here's like a purple with some really pretty dried fuchsia roses and glitter on it. So what I do is I take the six by six bag and I cut it into two pieces so that you can make two out of one bag. Okay, the, the bag works totally with you. So this was the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna use that for another soap. This is the top, okay, and you can just start gathering the soap. Gather as you go around. Just kind of keep keep gathering it loose. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. And you're not going to see this back because we're going to put a label on there. But take some clear tape and just kind of tape it down. I'm hoping you can see this. This is kind of far for you to see. Um, the, the, the cellophane really kind of works with you. I mean, it kind of gets what you're doing. Okay. So this is three pieces of tape. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is instead of putting a tag, Instead of putting the loose tag, I am going to actually put a sticky label on the back. Okay, so the label is on the back, and this is what the front looks like. And you could also do it this way. And if there's any loose kind of cellophane pieces, um, which I really don't have here in this one, but if there was, just kind of tape it, just kind of tape it down, but this is another way that you could package this. And for this one, I would put the ribbon, let's see, that's probably about enough. I would put the ribbon around it, like so. and I would tape the bottom so that it stays. And the ribbon kind of also acts as then kind of a holder for any loose stray plastic parts. Whoa, my tape dispenser went a little cuckoo there on me. And you could have it like this if you'd prefer that. There you go. There it is on the back. The tape is going to keep the ribbon in place. And here's the oval soap with the ribbon on top of it. Really cute, simple. This is probably too simple for me, so I would probably want to put like a flower or something on it. Let's see what I have. I know that I have a ton. Because that's probably a little too simple for me, I would probably put something else on it. Just a cute little embellishment like that. Okay? So that's another way. And really for the rest of these, 
I'm just going to kind of do just variations of that. I'm just going to keep putting them in these plastic cellophane bags and using different ribbons and um, just wrap them that way and using some different little embellishments and they're going to be watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, as always, you can subscribe to my channel, which would be so appreciated, and I'll see you very soon.